China's Gobi Desert, a vast, rugged landscape scoured by eons of erosion. Here, paleontologists are uncovering fascinating new portals to a Dino Golden Age. We targeted this area because it's a really important time period. Right when the dinosaurs started to radiate and become big. The scientists are astounded by the breadth of their discoveries. Several previously unknown species have been unearthed, including an intriguing raptor. They name him Guan Long, meaning crested dragon. As the excavation progresses, another Guanlong skeleton emerges below the first, and then others below this. If we look at the dinosaur record from every continent on the planet, there is virtually nothing like this. They find several of these dino graves where multiple skeletons are preserved, one atop the other in columns of death, evidence of some mysterious prehistoric catastrophe. This block that I'm uh, sitting next to shows a really important piece of information, a really important piece of the puzzle. The skeleton shows signs of struggle. Broken bones and contorted poses suggest that these dinos were fighting for their lives. Dr. David Eberth has a theory. These animals must have been struggling in the mud. There had to be some kind of movement that churned the mud up. An analysis of fossilized soil samples show volcanic ash present. We know that volcanoes were exploding from time to time in this area, and we know that these volcanoes were nearby because some of the crystals are quite large, and they wouldn't be able to travel that far in the air. Dr. Eberth also finds evidence that Guanlong's stomping grounds would have included vast marshlands, where falling ash met wading wetlands, dino death traps were born. The ash would have within it lots of glass, glass particles. And those glass particles would settle down into this wetlands area, creating a thick mud, a soupy mud. Viscous and unforgiving, this quick mud could be perilous to any animal that happened upon it. Predators seeing potential prey helplessly struggling against the mud would move in to attack and then get stuck themselves. Once the first animal got trapped, then they became active predator traps. 